life. She's got a lot to learn about herself. She's still on that journey. And I don't think we should judge. So I'm asking you, please don't judge my daughter by her. Happening YouTube, you can cool believe that that clip you just saw is going to be in the top five character plots for this episode of The Shy, season three, episode three. My wife is here, and we wanted to talk about this one because Lena Waithe in this season, she's covering so many tropes in America. We're getting ready to have a baby girl in like two days, and Lena is covering the abduction of young black girls. That was a big thing going on. She's covering LGBTQ issues, and a lot of that came to play in this episode, and we're going to review it. If you're finding us for the first time, please subscribe to the channel. I'm Lamont. That's Crystal. She's my wife. Be sure to turn on notifications so when we drop videos, you get them. For those of you following me for the baby, as soon as we have that baby on Tuesday, I'll get some content up. We're just trying to get there. <laughs> Send us all your prayers and comments. Let's dive. He, he thinks he's going to get content up. <laughs> right away. I'm going to get content up about my baby girl because yes. I'm going to run this house and that little girl with an iron fist. Mm -hmm. Watch me. Mm -hmm. Number five character breakdown plot. Our man Kevin. Mm -hmm. Lord Poe Kevin. He's holding a whole lot of weight because he knew the sister was gone. Mm -hmm. And he didn't say anything to the mom. And he's holding on to the issues he's had with his sister in the past. This episode, he gets Jake to get Trig to go do some door knocking. Okay? Mm -hmm. That didn't turn out to be fruitful for them. Mm -hmm. In school, we see Kevin meet up with that sister girl who's like, act smart, but why she got to pick on Jake, call him Ashy? For those of y'all don't know, Jake has a skin condition, ladies and gentlemen. His skin condition does nothing about his acting, and Jake should have told that little girl about herself, but he didn't. Mm -hmm. Okay? So Kevin likes this girl. Emmett busts up in Kevin's room while he's jacking off to the girl's Facebook page. Tell us what is going on with the build-up to Kevin and this character plot for Kevin. You mean Kevin, like, going hard for his sister? Just his storyline in general. What, what do you see them doing? Where do you see well, them taking Kevin it? was one of the main characters of the show. So mm -hmm. he carries a lot of the weight in the show. Um, it shows that he cares deeply about his sister. He's going to do whatever he needs to do to try to save her and find find her and save her. Mm -hmm. Um I don't know where they're going with the storyline with the little girl. Because didn't he like another girl um, in the first episode? It was another girl. It wasn't this one. This is a different girl that he's uh, no, kind of feeling. I don't bit. remember no other girl in the first episode. When the three of them were at the Oh, crib. I mean, that, that was just a hookup, man. Oh, that goodness. ain't nothing. That was, you know, what he's feeling for this girl is something deeper than uh, that. The chick at the thing was just a hookup. That well, one weird. thing, it tells you that Kevin has... Uh, an affinity for women of substance, I guess you can put it that way. Okay. Because Maisha, she was, she's, she's about something. Okay. This girl seems like she's about something. Right. You're not just chasing a little, you know, cutesy, fast behind girls. Well, so we, I guess that's we, one thing you can take away from. We it. don't know if this girl ain't fast or not yet. We know she's smart. Well, we know she about her business. Yeah, so she Kevin, about her business. Kevin likes smart women. Yeah, he like he <laughs> smart, likes women that got something. Smart young ladies. Yeah, he's, he that. like women that's got something going on. Uh -huh. But I, the reason why I picked this as number five is because I said this in my earlier trailers. This is showing that Kevin is having to grow up as a man quickly. Hmm. That's what they're building on in his character this season. And you could also see a little bit of that growth when the mom came into the room to ask him, was he going to go to the vigil? Mm -hmm. At first he said no, but then he winds up showing up anyway. Right. That shows a lot of maturity in a young man, and it shows how quickly they're having Kevin grow up. Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah, so he has a lot of inner turmoil. Mm -hmm. um, he just wants his sister back. Hopefully he'll get her back. Yeah, we'll see. Number four, character plot that I noticed that I like, Kevin's mom and Drake. And throughout this episode, in the beginning, it starts out with Kevin's mom distraught, just looking for Keisha. Then she meets Tracy. And you know Tracy used to mess around with old Rusty Ronnie. We'll get to him in a little bit. Mm -hmm. And Tracy was able to inspire a little bit more hope in Kev's mom. Even though she's still sad, she's distraught, she don't know how to handle it, Tracy was able to convince her and Dre to go to the meeting that she started. They had some turmoil in those meetings with some of those individuals who felt like 
because a daughter was fast is not worth looking for, which I didn't understand. That was just mm-hmm. stupid as hell. And throughout the episode, you saw Kev's mom get into it with Dre because she was on the verge of thinking, you know, I tried to raise her right. I don't know why she ventured into this side thing of having a website, showing mm-hmm. her body. And Dre was just like, you know, I mean, insecurities can create kids lashing out in a different way. And Dre mm-hmm. mentioned her dad's not around and she's a brown skinned lady. And those led to possibly insecurities where she felt like she needed to put her body on display and convince the mom, mm-hmm. in essence, that, hey, you know, we still need to keep looking for her regardless of what people may judge her. Mm-hmm. And in the end, the mama listened to all that and decided to go to the vigil and showed up at the vigil and gave a speech. Mm-hmm. How do you feel they're developing that storyline with the mom, Dre, Tracy, and looking for the daughter? Um, I think it is, it's realistic. Dre is the voice of reason right now while the mother is kind of falling apart. Mm-hmm. Um, and she's trying to t- ha- she's trying to get the mother to remove herself from the situation. Uh, I'm assuming that as a parent, when your kid doesn't kind of live up to the standards or or live up to your teachings, you're going to take that personally. Right. You're going to start questioning whether or not mm-hmm. you're a good parent. And she got caught all up in that that um you know dealing with that where dre was trying to pull her back to reality mm-hmm. we're all not we we're all weren't perfect when we were young uh we all did our dirt but that doesn't mean we need to we don't need to look for her right um i thought the parent meeting was a little i don't know if that was over the realistic. top oh. yeah i think most parents in that situation unless people just bitter because they don't have their kids and they don't care that you don't have yours i think the parents that would flock to those meetings mm-hmm. would be parents who um, have a lot more compassion for right. who would have a lot more compassion for what they're going through. Mm-hmm. And so I thought they would be, I don't, I don't know if I really believe that they would just kind of shun her and act like, you know, they don't have time to be dealing with, with her and her daughter, her missing the fast daughter. Or well, whatever. I could believe one or two of them churchy types would say that I can easily believe they'd say that, but you heard what you heard what they had to say about that one lady's son. Right. Out there being thinking he's a drug dealer he got or whatever. Robert. 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 Yeah, yeah, he out there gang banging. So how are you gonna try to judge her for putting racy pictures online? Your son out here gang banging, whatever yeah. you doing. Yeah. So yeah. just sit down. So I don't know if I believe that as much. I thought they went a little bit too hard with that. Um I can see it. Cause I seen it at the daycare we own. I can mm-hmm. I can I can always see at least one parent behaving like that. Mm-hmm. Because they have insecurities too. Yeah. They're lashing out their insecurities about their own parenting and the direction their kid went in on someone else. It's like mm-hmm. a projection. So you just so they bitter. Yeah. So they bitter. All day. I lost mine yeah. and yours was doing dirt and mm-hmm. too bad for you too. Pretty much. Well, man. Tracy did a good job of reeling them back in and convincing the mother to go to the, the vigil anyway. Right. So I do appreciate her for that. And one thing I said is when they were passing out those fires... They were giving them to a bunch of men. I'm just like, you need to talk to some of the women in the neighborhood because uh, they would be a little bit more compassionate and driven about trying to find somebody else's daughter. Mm-hmm. Um, and thankfully, they lucked upon Tracy, mm-hmm. um, who helped out. And look who's manning together to try to help find a girl, a women's group. Right. And I think the, the plot that they're going with that is trying to build up Kevin's mom. Mm-hmm. Because right now, she's in a low place where she thinks that everything that's going on it's because of her parenting style. Mm-hmm. And I think that the the story plot for her is just bringing her back to a point where she's confident in being a good parent. That yeah. It's not her fault. And might we say that we talked about Tracy. And we said Tracy has the body of a real woman. <laughs> you little you little Trey Songz dudes that always want them girls with fake bodies that go get liposuction. That Tracy is a man's man's woman. Ain't that right, honey? Because you kind of built like that. Oh, Except for you skinnier in the waistline and all that. Uh-huh. I ain't skinny right now in the waistline. I mean, you, you pregnant, <laughs> dude. I mean, my goodness. Number three, Jada, Emmett's mama. And we're going to mix in a little bit of Emmett into it, too. So we seen what happened with Jada last week. Now that she done got her black back blowed out by the masseuse, she's calm and mellow. Emmett and his girlfriend, baby mama, want to move back in with her. And she lets him do it. Mm-hmm. You know, they tried to play the storyline and dangle the grandbaby in her face. And she wasn't having none of that. Yeah. She was like, I'm going to do it just because y'all got a plan. Mm-hmm. Right. And as we go deep into her storyline, we know that they're trying to, 
that she's lonely. She wants to hook up with someone. In the trailers for the summer, they show this Rico Suave looking dude, and we finally get to meet him in this episode. He's a CNA. But what are they, where are they going with Jada and Rico Suave? Because they portray the dude as he a CNA, but then he hops in some high dollar drop top car. Mm -hmm. That tells me there's something else going on with Rico Suave, and they might be taking Jada's character for a ride. Mm -hmm. Synopsis on what they did with Jada's character this episode. She was just your, I guess, your typical mother. Uh, grandmother. <laughs> right. Mother, grandmother. Kids moving back in. She told them she wasn't falling for the bait. She knew they were trying to play her. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, she let them move back in. I don't know. I like Jay. I think she I was, do, too. I think she's a good parent. She did finally um, kind of stern up a couple of seasons ago um, and tried to make her her son more of a man and, and not less of a freeloader. Right. Um, the whole dynamic between Jada being in the house with the baby mama and Emmett. And his name is Emmett, right? Yeah. Yeah. With Jada being in the house with Emmett, I kind of like that dynamic watching the three of them kind of go back and forth. And I could appreciate what the, what's the baby mama name? I forgot her name. I can appreciate what she was saying, whereas... When he doesn't step up, the mama steps in and, and fills in for, for his delinquency. Oh, that's just because you done dealt with mama's boy. That's your problem. I mean, that's just because you done... That man is trying to do something with his life. That's why he's late night. He's trying to do a side hustle. But she made what, a, what is the baby mama doing? Selling drugs. Right, right, right. But so, no, look, she made a good point about whenever he falls short, she steps in. Now, granted, she got she does have a lot of issues. I thought she should have gave him a pass because he is adjusting to a new schedule. Yeah. He didn't know what he was going to feel like the next morning. Yeah. So once they get that little piece worked out, he can figure out where he can chip in or where it's feasible for him to chip in with the sun. Right. Um, but the point that she made, I thought, was was well taken. Yeah. should have been well taken. But Emmett has grown up beyond that point. He's trying to do something legit. So mm -hmm. I would have easily said her, before you come at me like that, what you doing for a living? <laughs> what what you doing for a living? It was so funny. Yeah, it was he, funny. He said, you the weed woman. Yeah, you the weed <laughs> woman. <laughs> you know, it's like, bro. Ain't like they going to fill out a... a right. <laughs> ain't, nobody, ain't nobody showing up. I mean, girl. They ain't going to fill out a comment section right. on, on, on Yelp. Yelp. Uh, man, yeah. get out of here. But now, since we're on Emmett, let's finish out his character building. I still feel that he's on a wild ride, just like his mama with the introduction of Lala's character, Dominique. Mm -hmm. They showed how unstable she is because she shows up at that man's establishment. Criticizing his food. Criticizing the owner's food. Now, the food really might be hard. I guess you say critiquing, but she was nah, criticizing it on she, the low. She, she was, yeah, she was throwing, throwing shade. shade. Yeah. <laughs> and this is about to be your place to make this side money. You don't want to anger this guy, and then, and then you're not going to have a place to make your side hustle. So I still feel like the ride we're seeing Emmett take with her is going to end with him smashing. Mm -hmm. Then it's going to end with Dom doing something crooked to run off with the business and he's going to be stuck yeah. with his mom. Yeah, I do. That will be interesting to see how that plays out. So we already know that she needs extra help in the kitchen. Right. So who is he going to pull in the kitchen to help? Exactly. Is he going to bring his baby mama up in there? Oh, hell no. <laughs> oh, hell no. Mm -mm. <sighs> nah. So there's going to be other dynamics in the kitchen. Either Keisha's going to find somebody to come in there and help her, or he's going to find somebody. But I don't think that's going to work out too well either. So, exactly. yeah, Emmett is in for a ride. In for a ride, man. A uh, rough ride. Yeah. Cause rough riders. You, you can't. She she's very headstrong. She got her 